Hello and welcome to our AFT Aero 9 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series, Video 5. In this video, we are going to discuss how to use the Graph Results window to make helpful graphs from the model results. If you have not already, run the model to obtain results by clicking the Run Model button on the toolbar. Click the Graph Results button on the Solution Progress window after the solver finishes to go to the Graph Results window. If you are unfamiliar with creating graphs in AFT Arrow, you can use the graph guide to walk you through the steps. We will use the graph guide to create a simple graph. For this model, there is one type of graph available for a profile plot where you can see how a parameter changes along a flow path. If you have a compressor slash fan junction in your model, you will see a second type appear to create a compressor slash fan versus system curve. Click the graph type and follow the steps. As you can see, the profile graph shows how the static pressure in the system, displayed on the y-axis, changes along the selected flow path, displayed on the x-axis. If you would like to change the formatting of the graph, click the formatting button to change fonts, text sizes, scaling, line styles, and colors or you can right click on the chart, axis titles, or names to change those directly. You can toggle graph lines on and off using the checkboxes in the legend. You can also create more than one graph at a time. Click the green plus icon in the bottom right to add a new graph tab. For this new graph, we will create a more advanced profile plot to compare static and stagnation pressure. To add a second parameter, click the Add button. If you would like to make this parameter part of the secondary y-axis, select the parameter and click the blue arrow pointing to the right to indent the parameter in the list. This designates it as a secondary y-axis parameter. Click Generate to see the new graph. Note, you can also add a secondary y-axis by adding two rows for the same parameter but using a separate set of units. Another graphing feature you can use in addition to a secondary y-axis is a stack graph that uses a common x-axis. Create a stack graph by adding another parameter, selecting velocity as the parameter to graph, then clicking generate. We now have two profile plots stacked on top of each other. Pressure profile on top with stagnation pressure on the secondary axis and velocity displayed on the bottom. Now that we have created a quality graph, click the folder with the blue plus sign on the toolbar to save the graph for quick generation later. You can give the graph any name you like. Once you click OK to save the graph name, you will notice that the borders turn dark green to identify that you successfully added the graph to the graph list manager. The color coding of the graph icons show which graph list item and parameters that the plot corresponds to, such as purple for profile graphs. Watch what happens to the dark green borders when we make one or multiple changes to the graph formatting, such as showing junction location labels and modifying the x-axis scaling. You will notice that the border changed from dark green to light green to indicate we changed a saved graph list item. To save these changes to the graph list item, click the folder with the green circle and check mark. Note that the graph list item saved to the model file. This means that AFT Arrow does not save the new graph list items and changes to existing graph list items until you save the model. To demonstrate how to use the graph list items to quickly generate a saved graph, we are going to make a change to the model, run the model again to get new results, then use the graph list item to generate the graph. Note that the velocity at J1 is about 140 feet per second. Go back to the workspace, change the pressure of J1 to 150 PSIG and the temperature to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Now run the model again. Go to the graph results window and double click the graph list item to regenerate the same plot as before but now updated to the new results we just obtained. Note that the velocity has increased as expected and is now about 170 feet per second. 
In summary, the graph results window provides easy to understand features to create detailed and customizable graphs. You can save these graphs for quick generation later when making updates to the model. Thank you for watching, and feel free to refer to the other topics in our AFT Arrow 9 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series.